Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I'm excited today to give you a solution you've been asking for, and that is how to create a natural polymeric emulsion. Now you've seen from other videos where I've used polymeric emulsifiers that are synthetic, how easy it is. They're cold processable, they've got a delightfully light skin feel, and of course we haven't had a natural equivalent until now. Now, what we're gonna make today is this beautifully light cream gel. I'm just gonna apply a little so you can see. Even though I'm using natural materials, you can see it's not stringy at all. And when applied to the skin, it rubs straight in. There's absolutely no excess white rubbing time there at all. Now, what I've done in this formula as well, I've made it basic so that you can change it to suit your brand, your philosophy, but I have stabilized 15% of oils in this formula. So you can see it is totally stable, even with 15% lipid. Now you can use less than that, but I've shown you it's perfectly stable with such a high lipid input. Let me show you how it's done. So we start off with our water and glycerin here in a bowl. Now one of the tips that you do need to use here is a really nice gum. I'm using Silly Gel here, but you could also use other fine grades. You want electrolyte tolerant. This is an electrolyte tolerant material. You want it to have a beautiful skin feel. I can add this straight into the formula and stir. You can see there are no fish eyes from using this material, so I don't need to use the slurry method. You can use the slurry if you need to, uh, but other really nice materials you might wanna consider include Amigel, Sclerotium gum. The Silly Gel actually has the Xanthan gum. It has lecithin in there, which gives this beautiful silicon-like feel to the product, but all natural. And it also has Sclerotium gum present. So that way you get this really non-tacky, non-stringy finish, but you get a very fast viscosity build. You can see how quickly that's turned into a gel. Also very, very easy to incorporate into formulas. Like I say, you can add it directly to the water or you can slurry it if you want. So there's our water phase done. Now we've got our oil phase. Now to create this beautiful cold and natural emulsion, I am using Tigo Care LTP. Uh, it's by Avonic and that is this material here. So I'm just gonna add that into my pre-measured oil phase, and then I can simply add my oil phase into my water phase, give it a good stir, and add my antioxidant and preservative, and I'm done. And there you have it, your beautiful cream gel. Now, as you can see, creating cream gels is really easy because they're cold processed. You can use this same material, the Tigo Care LTB, to create milks and some sprayable emulsions as well with only a very small gum input so that it remains sprayable and very low viscosity. You can also make this cream gel a little bit more cream-like if you add it around two to 3% of a high HLB non-ionic waxy emulsifier blend. That will give a little bit of creaminess to it, but of course then needs heating. You saw how easy it was for me to make this emulsion simply stirring by hand. A couple of important notes to help you create a pure sensory delight. I've used light skin fill oils so that it fits the theme. The point of a cream gel is they feel very light on the skin. So I've used light oils, light lipids, to make sure I'm carrying through that light skin fill story.
I have used 15% lipid in this formula to show you how well it stabilizes even a high input of oils. But you don't need to use that much in your formula. If you're going for a nice light skin feel from your product, seven or eight percent of lipid will do the job just fine. I've kept the formula quite plain so that you can alter it to suit your company philosophy and your target market's needs. You can add water soluble actives, you can add oil soluble actives. Because this formula is cold processable, it means you don't need to worry about heat tolerance. You can add essential oils for aroma or fragrance. Now you can use other gums, you don't have to use the silicone material. I've picked that one because it has a beautiful silicon-like skin feel and it goes with the whole concept of having this cream gel light skin feel product with absolutely no tack and no residual feeling. You can use other elegant natural gums in your formula. Use the slurry method if you need to. I've again shown you how easy it is to use these materials even when you're not using a slurry method. And of course, make sure you check and adjust that final pH to suit the actives and preservatives you've used in your formulation, or at least the skin compatible pH for your product. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed finding this solution for you. I've promised you that as soon as I found a material that I really liked working with, I'd bring it to you so you could create natural cream gels instead of synthetic offerings. Please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive all our notifications and keep asking for what you want to see. Happy formulating.